thousand years ago, golems with almighty powers were created. These golems are known today as devil golems. Hey, Atsuma, come on, wake up. Professor Ko will see you. No, I can't eat anymore. However, debate still rages over whether these golems actually existed. Even here, at Enchant University, opinion remains divided. Impossible. Oh, Toya, just let that poor moron sleep. Nah, that wouldn't be fair. Not even Atsuma deserves to suffer the wrath of Professor Ko. It is said that in order to activate the almighty Devil Golems, special devices known as Magic Cores are required. Yeah, well, from where I'm sitting, it's exactly what he deserves. All right, class. <clears throat> That's enough revision for today. Time for a little enchant practice. Are you ready, Atsuma? What? Huh? What? Where? What's going on? Atsuma, you excel at the practical elements. But you don't really like listening to my lectures, it seems. Well... No! I love your lectures, Professor Ko. I have my eyes wide open. Perhaps, but not your ears. Atsuma. I believe you need lectures in how to lie more effectively. Yeah, I think you might be onto something. Do you ever give lectures like that? Indeed. That's quite an unexpected comeback. Really? I'm glad I managed to impress you. Ugh, imbecile.
dad! Excellent, Atsuma. All right! Did you see that, Toya? Pretty impressive, huh? Certainly. Incapacitating golems with fists alone. <laughs> you bet! Single brain cell alert! Atsuma seems to be satisfied anyway. So let's call it a day here. Make sure you practice what we have studied every day. Especially you, Atsuma. Okay, I love some real action. If only he threw that single brain cell into his studies with the same enthusiasm. But then he wouldn't be Atsuma anymore, would he? I just get so drowsy looking at textbooks and reading about magic techniques. Ugh. That's just the way I am. Here's a better explanation. You're a dropout. <sighs> you hanging around Toya makes him look bad, for sure. Well, he does always sleep during lessons. But he can perform powerful enchants from time to time, can't he? Luck, that's all. Luck. The way he does them is never in any textbook. It's just he sometimes gets good results. Come on, Toya. You mustn't give him any credit. Yeah, but if I've surpassed the textbooks already, that makes me a genius, right? <laughs> Certainly. Anyway, lessons are done for now, so let's go! To the cafeteria, then. After heading into the corridor from the lecture hall, go down the stairs and that will lead you right to it. You don't have to explain that much, Toya. You do tend to forget things, Atsuma. Anyway, let's head down there. your time concerning your right arm I think I'll have some interesting data to show you in a few days oh okay thank you
Azuma. That loser. Is he coming this way? What should we do? If his right arm touches us, we'll never enchant again. Oh, it's Toya. How handsome he is. Really? Is, is he coming this way? Toya, over here. Duh. Why does Toya always get all the attention? Pay them no mind, Atsuma. We'll wait for you here if you want to go and buy your lunch. What? You're not getting anything? I made enough for Toya, too. Oh, stop messing around and go buy something. Okay. So you got the Sailor's Burger meal. If I recall correctly, that's a burger that contains fresh, raw fish as opposed to your average beef patty. With a side order of deep-fried calamari. You poor thing, ordering such junk. Certainly nothing compared to my extra special Makoto love lunch. Whoa. Look all you want, you aren't getting any. Okay, you two. Let's eat. Full and content now, are we? Oh yeah, I couldn't eat another mouthful. Huh, well, maybe that's because you kept stealing mine. I'm sure you are stuffed after all that. Give me a break, it would have just gone to waste. I got up early this morning to make that lunch for Toya. The finest, most carefully selected prawns for the sushi. Scallops and a rich mushroomy cream sauce. The special Makoto love omelet accompanied with the pinkest of pickles. Not to mention the raspberry, pecan, chocolate chip cheesecake for dessert. I didn't go to all that trouble for you to stuff your piggy face. Makoto, I could never have eaten all that alone anyway. Well, if you say so, Toya, I guess I'll let him off. But just you be grateful, you hear me? Oh, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your lunch is far better than anything the cafeteria has to offer. Of course it is. My love for Toya soaks into everything I make. Yeah, yeah, very impressive, in a scary way. Anyway, Toya... Ugh, dismiss me then, why don't you? That's rich coming from So, me. Toya, do you know what day it is today? It's your birthday, right? That's right! Wait, no it isn't. So it's Makoto's birthday. If you say so, Toya, from today on, today will be my birthday. I'll change my birthday for you. No, no that's not it either. And it's equally scary. I'm just messing around with you. The preparations for the festival started early this morning in Yokohama. It would be impossible not to notice. That's right, the festival! And so? There it is. I've been waiting for that face. He's planning something. This only comes once a year. Shouldn't we get down there and have some fun, Toya? You're right. Once lessons finish... No, 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 no. That's no good. Let's cut classes this afternoon. <sighs> what? Keep your voice down. 
we should allow ourselves to skip lessons at least once a year. Once a year? You cut classes at least twice a week, Atsuma. Details, details, come on then, Toya. Listen to yourself. I'm not talking to you, Makoto. Why do you always drag Toya into these crazy schemes, Atsuma? What are you, his legal guardian or something? Legal guardian? Of course not. I'm his disciple of love. I'm here to make sure that Toya, my pure angel, doesn't fall from grace. We're talking about cutting a few classes. Angels falling from grace? Psh, what nonsense. Nonsense? How dare you? Stop it, you two. You're embarrassing me. Just tell him straight out, Toya. No festival this afternoon. No, we're going. We're going, right, Toya? Come on, say we're going. You're like a spoiled child. Okay, okay. Just for today, Atsuma. Toya, you're too accommodating, honestly. Morons like him won't understand anything unless you spell it right out. Well, we are childhood friends. He may be spoiled, but he can also be kind of fun, you know? What? You never call me fun. Looks like I got another one up, buddy Makoto. Haha, <laughs> take that. Why, you... If we're going to the festival, then we need to head for the trade district. Okay, but I need to do something first. Lunch for someone special, right? That's right. He'll be starving by now. That means we have to go to the sealed ward. It's east of the cafeteria, okay? boy. Eat it all up. Easily pleased, just like his master. You've upset him, Makoto. Uh, get away from me, you stupid dog! This dumb dog seems to have taken a real disliking to me for some reason. He didn't even like you when he was a puppy, did he? Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's that unique look you've got going, Makoto. Hey, keep it down. We shouldn't really be seen around here. Good point. We shouldn't be anywhere near here, should we? Really? The teachers always tell us to stay away from this place. Especially you, Atsuma. 
After all, what if that right arm of yours starts breaking some seals? There are all those rumors about this place anyway. That the military are doing secret weapons research deep inside. That ghosts are often seen around here. And that a princess is imprisoned inside. I heard that one. Really? How would I know? Anyway, it's the perfect place for you to keep your little dog a secret. No, well, actually, I don't know anything about any of this. But there are some things that scare me. Like Professor Ko, for instance. Right, Koda? <laughs> You've come close to being used in live experiments a few times, haven't you, boy? <laughs> what? What's wrong, Koda? What's got his back up so suddenly? Just you be- <gasps> What's the face for, Mikado? You look pale. You should be well aware that this place is off-limits to students. Ah! I think it's almost time for afternoon lessons, isn't it? Y yes Professor. Very good. For it's still too soon for you to show your true colors, Atsuma. Crazy. Professor Ko isn't coming after us, is he? No, I think we're in the clear. But let's just try not to cause too much of a fuss from now on. All right! Good then, let's head to the trade district. The school's south exit then. Let's roll, the festival beckons! I'm glad you're so excited, Atsuma. But keep in mind that this is lesson time. I'm sure teachers and members of the student council will be watching for class cutters. Festival day is said to be the hardest day to get out, even a minute early. We're making history, Toya! We will be legends! I somehow doubt that the staff will just let us stroll past. Then we'll force our way through! Let's go! To the Trade District exit in the South Hall!